Let's do it up, yo. Here we come. My birth I can hardly remember But I remember from the start My midwives looking at each other This boy is born with singing hard All doors for him will fly wide open For everybody loves a nut it's true, once they threw me in trenches Frontline amigos sure love that Malandro, malandro, malandrino Trufaldo, trufaldo, trufaldino Malandro, malandro, malandrino Malandro, malandro, malandrino Trufaldo, trufaldo, trufaldino Malandro, malandro, malandrino I was born with singing Those midwives were like politicians To pick a ring they are so prone One said life is beautiful, give the boy other one said government loan I still don't know which one is right, girl And you know I don't really care I got to keep my heart a singing And for that anything I'll dare Oh, for that anything, anything I'll dare My life Trovado, trovado, trovadino Malandro, malandro, malandrino I was born with singing heart Malandro, malandro, malandrino Trovado, trovado, trovadino Malandro, malandro, malandrino I was born with singing heart Cracks, cracks, cracks Thank you so much. Yes, of course. El claro. Malandrino off of Pura Vida Conspiracy, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Um, I just got the record, and we listened to it at the Redwoods. And I have to say, like, I get a ton of records. This one, I sat in a car and listened to it. You went into many different directions in this, per in this particular yes. record. Yes, the whole so plan worked. That's, <laughs> it's an insidious plan, but it did work. Um, are you still living in Rio? I still have my place there, yeah. But where are you? On, so you're just on a road? Are you going to go back? I kind of live on a yellow line in the middle of the street, in the middle of the road. You know, that's like... Dodging traffic? Yes. Very cool. Yeah. And you guys played last night at the Neptune? How was the show? It was excellent. I love the multiple nights. As you can do two different shows. And yeah. you got one of those coming up uh, in Toronto on August 19th and 20th. Yeah. Is that a festival? No, I think it's just multiple nights in the city. And then Chicago on the 17th. Uh-huh. Will there be a large Eastern European population? I don't know. It's hard to tell. But uh, what does it even mean? It's like the more you tour the world, the more you realize that everybody's grandmother is from Romania. Mm. Or know? Poland, like mine. So who is not from Eastern Europe, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. My wife definitely is not from Eastern Europe, though. 
Well, like maybe her mom. grand grand grandmother was from Romania. You never know. It <laughs> could be. It could be. Um, where? So this there's a much that's that's a Latin song that you you played there, and I remembered when I first heard your records, um, it was very much an Eastern European influence. So tell me, like, how did you come to this space, if you want? Yeah. Well, when I first came to Rio. People just kind of start. I start hearing this word around me. You know, people start calling me like Russo Malandro or Mal- Malandro Russo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Russian Malandro. So I, I found out what that means. It's kind of a popular character in Brazilian culture. Somebody who's kind of like a streetwise cat. You know, somebody who is not employed by a large company and still does pretty well. Right. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I understand that. So and that that kind of the spirit of it, it was. Soon, you know, soon accumulated into a song, like line by line, you know. Okay, perfect. Can we hear some more music? Absolutely. Gogo Bordello, live in the studios, KXP. We got the uh, the other side of Rainbow. Uh, my compañero. Ah, my compañero. Yeah, it's from a previous album. The Transcontinental Hustle. Yes. <laughs> Where are you now, my compañera? Your baby club stuck in my chest. Where are you now, my sonidera? Hot Tokyo from the nest. Oh. We stepped together in a river. We traded fever for turmoil Last time I saw you was in the middle So did you ever reach the soil? Where are you now, my compañera? Your baby clock stuck in my chest Where are you now, my sonidera? What took you from the nest? Where are you now, my compañera? I'm building bricks from town to town Where are you now?
Hello. Okay. <laughs> I've interrupted before. I don't want to do that again. You never know. <laughs> you could have a little break in the middle of it. That's awesome. Uh, Eugene, will you introduce the band, please? Yeah, absolutely. Here on the left, we have Elizabeth Sun from Glasgow. And mm -hmm. uh, yes, hello, Elizabeth. Hello. And uh, she was born and raised in Glasgow, now living in Brooklyn in New York. Thanks for uh, coming. Thank you yeah, for yeah. having us. Anytime. Pedro Erazo, <coughs> here from Ecuador, Quito. Yes, <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you. Living in Brooklyn, New York City. Pasha Neumer from Belarusia, Belarusia. Hello. Uh, Belar <laughs> Belarus, as you Belarus. say. Belarus. Yes. Hello. Yes, his first <laughs> tour with us, actually. Right on. Yes, his Google Bordello visa just has been open. And uh, professor of Russian rock and roll music, Sergei Rapto, right here. Hello, on, everybody. Uh, right, without any further hesitation. Very cool. Sergei also living now, well, between New York and Ukraine. Right on. Yeah. Very cool. We just had Mumia Troll here just a little while ago. They were hilarious. Oh, the guys from Vladivostok, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, once again, the record's great. You guys are playing in Chicago on the 17th and the 19th and 20th in Toronto. Tell me, did it all start at, in uh, the Bulgarian bar in uh, Mehanata? Or like, how did this whole thing begin? Uh, well, it's a kind of a, a fragment of our trajectory. But the Bulgarian bar is quite a legendary place in, in New York City, or it was when the back in the day when the battles raged mm -hmm. and we thought it was just nothing. Um, it was like a CBG before Gypsy Punk, you know. And you were <laughs> DJing with some other yes. DJs. Yeah, I mean, the only reason for that really was because I was already kicked out from all other clubs and bars as a DJ. Nobody wanted to hear any of that. Mm -hmm. So there uh, it was welcomed and actually the, the bar capitalized on that. So it started drawing, you know, my my debauchery started drawing uh, other people debauchery, and that's how international community was kind of cultivated. You know, it was mostly uh, mostly uh, Latin and Eastern European, also some Italian, French, you know, crowd. But it was like um, pretty much for uh, for music that's not only in English. Mm -hmm. That was the place. And did that is that the place where Gogol formed, or were you doing other things, and that's where Gogol popped in? Actually, uh, Gogol Bordello has kind of a funny origin. It's never really hit a day of birth because I I moved uh, from 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 Vermont from my first residence in United States at ninety uh, ninety eight to New York City already with a, a original accordion player together, mm -hmm. and we already had a set of thirty songs. So it was like a duo duet wow and then it grew into a four piece and first record was recorded by in 98 actually or uh, 99 beginning so electric band has become only by 2001 you know mm -hmm. it was really a snowballing thing yeah and i never expected that the band is going to become so largely electric actually it was pretty much i was coming out of the I was coming out of a, a decade of playing a hardcore punk and psychobilly and industrial music, and I just didn't want to hear anything about large amplifiers and guitar pedals. So you did accordion and what else? It was accordion and acoustic guitar. All right. Did you do like a wedding circuit or something with that? Absolutely not. Okay. And there was once a, a friend of mine... Uh, Everybody's got to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I I start try to stay away from that actually. It's a it's kind of will pull you down into a vortex you will never get out. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Go go Brodello live in the studios of Cakes Beyond Warp Pop. It is so great to have you guys here. Would love to hear some more music. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. What's the next one on the list? The other side of the rainbow. All right, cool. Yeah, this song has actually quite a bit of Ecuadorian melodism in it because well, actually since I ever met Pedro my uh, knowledge of music. Did you spend time in Ecuador? I never been to Ecuador yet, but it's like being with Pedro on the bus is pretty much All having right. one foot in Ecuador. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know. So, uh, eventually, that melodism started really affecting me, and I was collecting as much as possible of Ecuadorian folk music. Mm -hmm. 
And I think some of those melodies are quite prominent on this track. Perfect. Yeah. Ah, <clears throat> uh, when the snow is getting heavy. Trees just bend and let it go. So how many, so how many broken bones it takes to know. So oh, wake up, wake up, my principessa. And don't let me out of your sight. I've seen the other side of rainbow. It was black and white. It was black and white. I've seen the other side of rainbow. It was black and white. It was black and white. The way to freedom, the way to freedom that I used to know is in a deeper, in a deeper knowing of my soul. The way to freedom, the way to freedom that I used to know. Oh, ritmo lay, ritmo lay, ritmo lay, the flow. Ritmo lay, ritmo lay, ritmo, ritmo lay, the flow. When your enemy gets cruel, let him down, don't break him down. If you hear of something good, yeah. Don't hold it back, pass it around. So wake up, wake up, my mama sutra. And don't let me out of your sight. I've seen the other side of rainbow. It was black and white. It was black and white. I've seen the other side of rainbow. It was black and white. It was black and white. The way to freedom, the way to freedom that I used to know is in a deeper, in a deeper going of my soul. The way to freedom, the way to freedom that I used to know. Gogo Bordello, live in the studios of KEXP. It is so great to have you guys here, finally. Thank you. I've Thanks been looking lot. forward to this for years since uh, I think we first met at Bumper Shoot. I introduced you guys. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that's right. You were in a really bad mood. I was? Oh, yeah. What was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Swearing in Russian and English <laughs> about somebody. Someone, that's somebody. passion. Yeah, it was, it was a passionate <laughs> night. We had plenty of, uh, of libations, and it was a beautiful day. And you guys killed, totally killed it. It was a beautiful show. Probably flew in from Tokyo, you know, and uh, after the after party in Australia. And so, you know, that adds up sometimes. So, you know, <laughs> you're, you're, I know I've been following the band for a long time, and, I, and we have mutual friends, but I'm, I'm intrigued to see your trajectory it's like when are you going to move to hollywood and start your entourage and have that whole career the, my posse mm -hmm. yeah uh, never really <laughs> oh, I a, lot, a lot of people know you you know from from uh from that movie that i'm spacing out on but there's there's definitely an ability you have you have some serious camera presence Nobody well, th throw that? thank you yeah i mean i i do enjoy some acting but i think i already kind of blew that uh part of uh trajectory i mean after the movie all the offers i received they were conflicting with the tour schedule and mm -hmm. i do I, it's not really my uh it's not what i really want to do people really don't can't believe it how come you don't want to move to hollywood it's like what is this you know like when when is people gonna really uh, realize that this whole hierarchy doesn't even exist like why is it so hard to understand that movies actually 
not can be somebody's not favorite uh, form of art. Blasphemy. You know, I don't. Who who made that idea up? It's a, you know, like for me, it takes a lot to like watch a movie. Like, really, I'm not so big fan of that. Okay. So like what, I'm a fan, but not so big, you know, as everybody else. So what made you act? What made you want? What made you say yes? Well, it's interesting to experiment. It's interesting. I'm not opposed to movies, but I don't believe it's like the highest form of art or something like that. Mm-hmm. No, but not by any means. Okay. It's a very confusing form of art and probably the most, uh, you know, toxic. Wow. Okay. <laughs> It's funny. I was just in LA, and it, it, there's definitely an aspect of that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, are you doing? Are you doing? I mean, what do you want to do when you grow up? Are you doing it right now? Oh, I would be. As far as movies go, I'd be much more interested to be uh, a director movie. Okay. And I have some ideas for like historical uh, spaghetti eastern uh, westerns. <laughs> spaghetti yeah. eastern. Yeah, spaghetti eastern. Yeah. Something. Yeah, there's some a lot of east- interesting uh, historical facts that were never embraced by genre of spaghetti western, and uh, I'd love to get behind the wheel on that one day. I think you could do it. I definitely think you could do it. <laughs> Thanks. I think the, just being you would open some doors. Uh, Gogo Bordello playing August 17th <clears throat> in Chicago, 19th and 20th in Toronto. And then where are you guys going to go? How long is this tour? Uh, well, the tour is going all the way into New Year's. We have a, a little bit of a chill out in September before we go to Latin America, mm-hmm. our new favorite spot. And um, then uh, Europe and States. I mean, really, the night is just begins. Okay, know? so this is just the beginning. <laughs> yeah. You're committed. Now, you went, you, you went to Brazil and you stayed there for a while. You were, you kind of just in a, one could say at, when things are just getting crazy, you just said, I'm done. Yeah, I'm I think go. the soccer, the whole, the champion, what is it, World Cup? The World Cup. I think that's my cue to split. All right. Yeah, I'm not so, uh, you know, it's, I, enjoy, I enjoy the spirit of enthusiasm of soccer, mm-hmm. but when it's so, you know, rolled up in dollar bills from every side and angle, it kind of loses the spirit of it. And, and I've also been much more progressively interested in Argentina. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot more of a, you know, ambience of kind of, uh, you know, Cartazar and Borges, and there's a lot to be said about that. Okay, yeah. so you maybe it's like drunk librarian and me, you know, <laughs> you know, crawling back between the shelves again. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Can we hear some more music, please? Absolutely. Thank you. And it's uh, I just realized. Yeah, this one is um, it's um, some. It's like a Russian samba. Wow. Yeah. Although some critics call it Romanian milonga. Okay. Well, yeah. critics will be critics. Yeah. <laughs> Let them do that. Full start. I just realized that I'm dying to see you and hear you all over again and again. When did it start? I don't wish exact moment. Oh, I don't know, and I hope it will end. Maybe tomorrow, but probably never. And in swirl of obsession, I helplessly fall. Feeling disguising, soul polarizing. Where is the exit? Of course, there is none. Where in disguising, soul polarizing. Where is the exit? Of course, there is none. When did it start? On which exact moment? In the swirl of obsession, I helplessly fall. Feeling disguising and soul. When your body is burning with fever of the voodoo force What is it that's really burning parts 
of you, of course. Is it because I am Russian? Is it because you are not? Опа, снова буду мати, снова все наоборот. When did it start? On which exact moment in a swirl of obsession? I just realized that I'm dying to see you and hear you all over again and again. When did it start at a which exact moment? Oh, I don't know, and I hope it will end. Maybe tomorrow, but probably never. In a swirl of obsession, I helplessly fall, feeling disguising, so polarizing. Where is the exit? Of course, there is none. Feeling disguising, so polarizing. Where is the exit? Of course, there is none. Gogo Bordello, that, and we rise again are my two favorite, uh, my favorite songs. On oh this yeah, record. yeah. Thanks, thank you. And um, both are really meditative. You're like you really, you seem to be going very internal in that. Yeah, it's not an uh, accident. Okay. It's not an accidental impression. Somewhere along the way, if you're going to survive in rock and roll music, you're going to have to embrace practice of meditation. All right. And you have? Yes. Actually, anybody you see alive in rock and roll after 40 years, they they're, they're just they're just not no. talking about it. But Okay. <laughs> okay. But I assure you, I, I know, actually. So I was in the Redwoods. We were listening to this and a bunch of other records, and I was like, you know, telling people I'm going to be interviewing Gogo Bordello first time. Came out there, and I come back, and my inbox explodes. You are in the middle of some insane accusations right now, and like I'm thinking about this. Like I'm listening to this record. I'm going like, this can't really be going on. Like this is this is insane. If you can speak to it, if you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to talk about it. But it, if you can speak to it without swearing, that would be great. No, I don't have any swearing about it at all, actually. It's just... Actually, I don't really have any time to waste on that. Okay. It's uh, quite of a strange occurrence in my life and uh, in the life of the band. I see that. I hear that. Yeah. And it's, it's really bizarre that it's so public. I mean, bands fight. They have arguments. Things happen. They break up. But the fact that this just came out and just blew up all over the place. Yeah. Or, well, wait till you hear the rest of the story. Okay. <laughs> or I thought to myself, or is this just some plot to make rise sales of the record? It's <laughs> it does. So that's a great thing. You know, it's actually like, you know, it's like, wow, we're in Swedish billboards. <laughs> Thank you. Guys you guys are everywhere. And <laughs> Thank like, you. There's like a, a, a Ukrainian advertising mafia angle to it. Like this whole thing I don't just know. keeps twisting. I was like, Maybe it's a secret admirer, yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for coming in. Please come again. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having us. Gogo Bordello, KEXP 90.3 Seattle. Uh, Thanks for everybody for making that happen. Once again, Wopop, KEXP 90.3, where the music matters. Thank you.